I'm Catherine. I'm a dietitian with the Nora Simcoe Family Health Team. Today we're going to be making tuna burger patties. This is a great recipe. It's quick. Most of the ingredients you'll probably have in your household and it only takes a few minutes to prepare. The first ingredient is tuna. So I drained two cans of tuna and I'm going to put that into a bowl. Next I'm going to add a half cup of Greek yogurt. If you don't have Greek yogurt, you can use uh, just regular plain yogurt as well. This is also great after if you want to add it as a topping, just a spoonful of Greek yogurt. We're going to cut up a green onion. You can also use parsley if you have that in the house or in the garden. This adds a little bit of flavor. If you don't have green onion, you can also use just a regular white or sweet onion. So I'm gonna add the green onions once they're chopped. Um, for the tuna, I also used just flaked light tuna in water. Uh, tuna is awesome because it keeps for a long time. It's a great protein source and it's a nice alternative to a meat-based dish. Next, I'll add just a spoonful of Dijon mustard. And then we're gonna do a half a cup of large flaked oats or quick cooking oats. I also really like using oatmeal as opposed to breadcrumbs if you're doing turkey burgers or regular beef burgers. You can use that to bind your burger as well. And then we're going to add two eggs into this mixture. This will help just bind the recipe together so that the patty actually forms together and you can fry it up after. It does say to kind of mix it up to whisk it, but I normally don't do that ahead of time because I don't want to use another bowl. Do it off to the side and then you're going to mix it all together. You can add a little bit of pepper for seasoning. I'm not adding salt because there is a little bit of salt in the tuna itself, but you can do that to taste as well. If you need to add extra oatmeal, you can do that here. Um, when you make the burger patties, if they're not sticking well, just add a little bit more of the oatmeal. Next, I'm gonna make up the tuna patties. And normally I get about five. You can probably get four large ones. You can actually just eat them like you would any regular burger. Sometimes I have them without a bun, just do sweet potato, corn, and some veggies on the side. So I preheated the pan with a little bit of olive oil on medium heat. I'm going to cook them on both sides for about two to three minutes each or at least until the egg is cooked. So you'll just kind of check them and keep flipping them until you're happy with the product. So to balance out the protein, I've added a starch, whole grain bread, and some cut up vegetables. Uh, this is for a lunch. You could also do sweet potato if you're doing it for dinner and a salad. Um, any of the toppings that you like for a burger you can use. So onions, avocados, cheese, uh, Dijon mustard, and I've also done it with just a dollop of the Greek yogurt as well. Um, instead of sour cream, so that could be another option. One of the best tips that I've got for vegetables so that we actually eat them is as soon as you get them home from the grocery store, try to cut them up and prep them so that they're easy to grab and go for meals and snacks. And there's the final product.